Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to a battle vid between the Galaxy Buds Pro and the AirPods Pro to find out which of these two we should pick or is there something else? So the Buds Pro have been announced and uh, they are the latest high-end uh, true wireless buds from Samsung. They come in three color variants. We've got the Phantom Black, Silver, and Violet. And the Violet looks really, really nice. Now, in terms of the case design, you can see it looks very similar to the Buds Live. It's pretty much the same case, but it's, it's interesting to see how Samsung has evolved the Buds Live from the Buds Plus, the Buds Live, and now the Buds Pro. Now, the Buds Pro come with a ton of features as we're gonna be pairing it against the AirPods Pro. First off, uh, this has USB Type-C charging as opposed to Lightning on the AirPods Pro. And that gives you an advantage because you get two hours of charge, will give you two hours of use with only 10 minutes charge. So that is actually pretty cool with the Buds Pro. You've also got wireless charging, something similar you will find on the AirPods Pro as well. Now, when it comes to battery life, this is also an area where the Buds Pro uh, have a slight advantage. The AirPods Pro have 24 hours with the case, uh, doesn't matter if you're using ANC or not, while the Buds Pro are 28 hours with the case. Now, the Buds themselves uh, come in at eight hours without ANC for the Buds Pro, uh, and then five hours without ANC for the Buds Pro, while the uh, AirPods Pro at about five hours or so. So that is where you have battery life situation. So let's start off with the first thing that we want to talk about with both of these earbuds. Feature sets. What kind of feature sets do I have with these earbuds? Now, both of them have touch controls uh, on the earbuds where you can you know, tap to play your music, touch to hold your music, uh, and of course use your transparency mode or your ambient sound which is also transparency for Samsung Galaxy Buds. Those work really well for both of them. And uh, that's, that's nice. But when it comes to software additives, the Apple AirPods Pro have limited software function. This is something Apple likes to do. In the volume controls, you can change between noise cancellation, transparency, and turn it off. And you also have spatial audio, which is a great feature, especially when you're watching movies, your favorite Marvel movies, getting that kind of 360 surround sound, uh, which is really good. Now, the Galaxy Buds Pro have the Gear app, which gives you an extended feature sets there. First, first of all, you've got your active noise cancellation. You can select, turn that on and off. You can go to your ambient sound and, and also uh, select different levels of ambient sound. Now, one of the new features they added is something called Voice Detect. Voice Detect works simply, uh, but when you listen to your music and someone's talking to you, and once you speak, it actually switches over from ANC to ambient sound and then drops the volume really low of the music so you can hear the conversation and continue talking to whoever you're talking to. But once you're done, it kicks back to ANC and the ambience and your volume of the music goes back to where you're listening to. So that is really, really nice. Then you've also got the custom EQs as well, built-in EQs that allow you to customize your music, something you will not find on the AirPods Pro. You can use a third-party app and such, but just nothing that's built-in by Apple. So again, in the feature set area, the Galaxy Buds Pro app is really robust uh, to give you more features and they add features within the features lab section. So that part is good. Now, the most important thing we care about any pair of headphones, either the ones behind me or the true wireless buds I'm talking about, is audio. How well do they sound? So, well, let's jump in and take a listen to both of them. So they sound pretty good and that's the best representation I can give you. How I would describe it is the Galaxy Buds Pro have some really good highs, some really solid lows. The mids are a bit muddled there for me. I mean, you can separate them with a the custom EQs a little bit more, uh, which custom EQ presets, by the way. Uh, I wish they were a custom EQ to separate that as well. While the AirPods Pro have good highs, some good lows, the mids are more open, but the highs don't reach out as much as I would like. In terms of audio preference, I would say you have to pick and choose between the two. I do like the Buds Pro more just because I get my vocals out more, and I also get those lows are coming really nice and clean. But 
Either one of them will work out well for you, but I will go with the Galaxy Buds Pro here. Now, another thing people care about, of course, is the microphone, right? They both sound good. Uh, the Buds Pro have continued what they've done with the Buds Live and the Buds Plus, and the AirPods Pro, of course, the microphone has been really good over the years. Now, finally, the other important thing is the active noise cancellation. We've got two headphones here with the Buds Pro at $200 and the, the AirPods Pro at uh, $250 or now around $220, and they both claim some superior active noise cancellation. I'll put it out there. They don't have the best noise cancellation. To me, it's still the Sony, WF-1000 Mark III's or the SP-700's. Uh, Those have the best active noise cancellation. Now, when it comes to these two, they have really good noise cancellation. I think both of them are pretty much on the same level. I think they do a really good job of blocking out the noise. You still get some sounds that come through, but really good. With the AirPods Pro, it's more forgiving with your fit. The Galaxy Buds Pro is not. So you want to find the best fit with the Galaxy Buds Pro. Play around with the ear tips to get that. While the AirPods Pro, you do not necessarily need to. And granted, I am using Comply Foam tips on these right here. Now, these of course are really good active noise canceling earbuds, but what about transparency mode? Now, again, they're all really solid, but I do have to give the edge to Apple. I think it just is a little bit better. Samsung has done a really good job and I like the way it works, but for this, I just say I have to give the edge to Apple. For me, it sounds much better. I think both of them look really good. Uh, they've got nice cases. You've got, of course, um, multiple colors for Samsung. You've got a white uh, colors for the uh, Apple AirPods Pro. But you can also get cases from our channel sponsor, Spigen. Uh, they've got some awesome cases that I like to use on my, uh, my devices, like the Rugged Armor case. They've also got the uh, Clear case, and they've also got the Silicon Fit case that you can use on your Galaxy Buds Pro, as well as also your AirPods Pro as well. Now you're thinking, okay, Thunder E, I don't wanna get any of these they sound good, but I want something else. Well, I've got two other options that I was looking at. I wanted to add into this video. First off is the uh, Cambridge Audio Melomania Touch. Now, these are $150 and these have really good sound at the price point. I would say they sound better than actually the other two. They've got a warmer sound signature. They sound really good. Now, in terms of features with the app, it's quite limited. They've got some really nice EQs to mess around with in the application, uh, but the one downer is that the transparency mode uh, doesn't really work as well as I would like. And also, uh, the connectivity issues I've had with them can be a bit annoying. It still works well with its 50 hour battery life with the case and about uh, nine hours with the earbuds themselves. A good one to look at, hopefully they can fix some of the connectivity issues with an update. And then finally, we're looking at the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. Now the Air 2 Pro just came out. They retail for about $129. You have four colors. I've got the blue one here. Uh, they've got that long stem fit and uh, they promise active noise cancellation at $120. $20 or so. And in terms of the ANC functionality, I would say they are decent, you know. In the words of the great Daniel Sin, it's only 80% in terms of functionality. And I kind of agree with that. It doesn't block out as much as I would like compared to see the Buds Pro or the AirPods Pro. The transparency mode too is a bit weak. Uh, and the transparency with vocals, uh, not so much. You can customize the ANC a little bit better to give you a better sounding fit. So it will move you from 80 to maybe 85%. And when it comes to audio, the audio is good, but some the highs are a bit tinny and the mids also come out a bit ruffled while your lows are really solid across the board. They do have the ability to tune your hearing for the headphones, which do help and something you should try out, but it's still a decent option at $129. So where does that put us between both the AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds Pro? Well, I have to go with the Galaxy Buds Pro as my winner here. I think the AirPods Pro are solid and they do a really good job. I give the edge to the Galaxy Buds Pro because of the longer battery life uh, and also uh, because of the extended features within the application. When it comes to sound, they're pretty much similar uh, in terms of at least my preferences for both. And also when it comes to ANC, they also have similar functionalities uh, with, of course, Apple edging out with transparency mode there. So if you have any questions or any comments or you want to pick up any of these two wireless buds on here, 
let me know. Use the link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.